Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Abu Jamie's back. In three, two, one. Yes, indeed. It's time for another episode. You're looking a sharp. What's the occasion? It's my tribute throwback to one of the greatest pop bands of all time. Oh, who, who might that be? No Mercy. Who cares about Purveyors No Mercy? Purveyors of who two even knows of no my Mercy. favorite songs of all time. Two of their, your favorite songs. They only had two songs. Where do you go? All right. My lovely. Oh. And uh, followed up by... Um, Abu Jamie, control a, your talent here. Uh, uh, followed up by a uh, similarly distinct, um, lyrically impressive song. Please don't go. <laughs> Please don't go. All right, all right, You're all right, the all right, only all right. Angel Thank you, okay. thank you, thank you. All right. As I was saying, welcome back. Thank you. Glad to have you with us. I do believe we've got a new subscriber. Dugba just joined five minutes ago. Welcome to the Pondering Ponytail. You've got a topic you want to talk yeah. about. Yeah, something that's been on my mind for about 25 years. 25, eh? Yeah, exactly. What might How and why? How and why? How and why? How and why? Timothy Dalton has, has ascended Just now. Just stop right, right there. Timothy Dalton being the best Bond. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. At least, at least you've come up with something original. No, 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 no. There's it like is... hundreds and thousands of videos just on that subject. We know the conclusion. He's closest to the Ian Fleming. Not books. for the microeconomic, microanalytical reasons. You better, you better that give I have your analyzed. Angle. Yes. Okay. Why do people say he's the best Bond? Why do the sorry, I should say, why do the iconoclasts say he's the best Bond? Because he's the closest to the book. Right. Exactly. Most people haven't even read the book. They're, sure. they're trying to be precious about it, uh, yeah. right? Anyways, that's not the reason why. That's not the reason. That's not the oh, reason. You've got something why. new for us. I've got something a reason for you. You've been okay. doing your research. First of all, first of yes. all, the best eye actor to ever play Bond, and actually the best eye actor of all time. What a man, a man who can level you, okay, with his eyes. And incidentally, this is the sign, this is the hallmark of a great, great thespian. He's not only an actor, he's a true, true thespian in the classical, Rada, Shakespearean sense of the word, okay? Okay, the eyes. A, a, an eye leveler, okay? Okay, fine. I, I mean, he doesn't even need to speak. He doesn't even need to speak. The man can level you with his eyes, and incidentally, in different ways, whether he's trying to communicate romance, whether he's trying to communicate violence, intensity, regret, revenge, um, ven sarcasm. Sa sarcasm. The only thing he's slightly lacking in is the humor. Well, well, actually, he's underrated because if you haven't seen Hot Fuzz, you should watch Hot Fuzz. Fine, you're okay. right. You're right. Am I you're right? right? You're right. Am I right? You're okay, wrong. Thank you. Right. Okay, okay. fine. Do you want to give us an example of so the I'm eye movement? Say, yes. Go so on. So first of all, in what film is it? His, first of all, are his eyes like at the utmost? So, uh, at the performance. utmost. A, a few key scenes. Okay. Yes. The opening scene in Living Daylight, which was his debut performance, right? Right. When they're introducing him. Fine. Okay. A two-year like gap after View to a Kill, right? And the kind of sardonic, kind of tongue-in-cheek performance of Roger Moore finishing, right? You open on the Rock of Gibraltar. Yes. 004 yes. is killed. He is plunges to his death on the I rock. I remember that. Yeah, he goes tumbling down. Fine. By an unnamed Give assassin. Give the freaking eyes! And he's like, <laughs> his eyes are like this. That is deep. Oh, you got me. Oh, I got, I got goosebumps. I got shivers. What ensues, by the way, what ensues is about five minutes of eye acting where he doesn't even say a word okay that's how they introduce him that's a that's a big big okay. that, that should be okay. a big you know, you know, you know they know how to okay, use so bonds that's in the living okay. daylight in the living the daylight so hang on hang what's on what's the other one license to license kill, to kill. Right. i haven't done with the living i'm not okay, done with fine, the living fine. daylights okay where he essentially like tries to follow the perpetrator the assassin right all around gibraltar jumps on the back of his jeep tussles with him in the car car goes off the cliff yeah careens off it's going towards the ocean. He parachutes out. More or lands or, lands on the lands on the yacht where this bored housewife is on her phone saying, "It's all so boring here, Margot. There's nothing but playboys and tennis pros. If only I could find a real man." And then he kind of like somersaults in and he says with his eyes, "I need to use your phone. <laughs> He'll call you back." This is 007 reporting for duty. And then she says, and he's like, I'll report in an hour. And then the woman, like, obviously very impressed, this, like, yeah, 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 I this SAS this. commando has just kind of jumped onto her, uh, jumped onto her uh, yacht, says, and he says, I'll report in an hour. And she says, holds up her wine glass, won't you join me? And he says, better make that two. <laughs> and then, dun, 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 aha's living daylights. Very you know, good. Kind of okay. uh, 
booms okay. onto the screen. All right. I think we got the point. The <laughs> you eyes. got the Fine. eyes. Convinced. Very good. There are other eyes. Do you want me to continue no, 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 on no, no, with no, no, the no, eyes? No. Well, let's move on to your second point. Oh, the second point. Okay. Which but, is? But, but he does a lot of... There's, there's more eye examples. I'm sure. I'm sure. We can do another video on that. Already? What's the second point? Okay. The second point. <laughs> voice. Ah, okay. the voice. All right. Voice. Okay. Again, I would argue that... When it comes down to voice actors, and that's been something that's probably been like referenced a lot, you know, uh -huh. who are the great voice men? Yes. In fact, Connery yes. is often uh, earmarked Connery, yes, he as is. one of the great voice yes. men of all James time. James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. Who Brian else? Cox. Brian Co Banderas. <laughs> who else? I mean, Ricardo sure. Montalban. Sir John Gielgud. Laurence Olivier. Okay, give me some others. Jim Varney. Jim Varney of Ernest P. World, yes, uh, the yes. Ernest P. World movies. It's true. Pee Wee but Herman. Shut up. In any, talk. in any case, in any case, uh, Dalton's voice acting is... Kermit the Frog. Yes, Dalton's are we, voice we, acting. Have we switched roles? No, no, no. Are we no, switched sorry, roles? Sorry. D Dalton's voice acting yes, the voice is acting. a thing to behold. Okay, right. in Living Daylights, right? right? <clears throat> Think about this line and how bad it would read on script, like on the page, okay? Then I'm going to do a rendition of how okay. well he executes it, right? Okay, do you have a line? I, I do, I, I have a line. Okay, okay. I could... The opening scene after the credits, you know, um, is uh, shot in Bratislava. Right. Where he's scoping out uh, Chalo That's House. That's Serbia. Chalo House, well, the former Czechoslovakia, right? Before the wall came down. All right, fine. <laughs> anyway, so he's scoping it out. Yeah. And um, he's supposed to kill a would-be assassin, right? And in putting on his like uh, his uh, what do you jumpsuit. call it? his jumpsuit, right? And a very, very, very good sort of uh, what do you call it? Um, hybrid tuxedo. Yes, 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 yes. And the collar and the collar. thing. Okay, and he right. gets ready to snipe. Yes, exactly. Right. Exactly. So then his his um, his bureaucratic what do you call it um, uh, number two is sort of saying, like, where is he? Where is where's the assassin? You know, blah blah blah. Saunders, by the way, is like. And he said, he's looking around with his like uh, night vision goggles, like, plenty of time to reach us. Plenty of time for an assassin to make strawberry jam of him. Fair enough. Imagine you saying. You know what? You're right. Imagine, instead of saying to like, to like shoot him into oblivion, to like, you know, blow his fucking brains out, to make strawberry jam of him. Imagine reading that and saying. You know what? You know what? Saying like, like, I'm not going to say that line. Bond would never say that line. But you know, Bond was always PG. He sells P it. PG. He sells okay, it. Plenty of time for a sniper to make strawberry jam of him. You know what? Convinced. Thank Point you. Point number two, eyes, voice. You got Can me. Can I just Abu say Jamie, another, another. Well done. You've prepped him well, Abu Jamie. Another line. Another very important line. Okay? Yes. Which is not said with like, like massive intensity. Yes. But it's just the pronunciation and the diction Go on. and the use of the R's. Yes. In *License to Kill*, the second film, right? When he's again scoping out like oh, the, Jamie. Sh the shark layer. When he's scoping out the shark layer. Yes. Right. And then he sees like uh, you know a red herring, like this this compact disc. Can you please face sorry, the camera? Sorry, 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 he's sorry. Swear, okay, sorry. when, he's, when he's, he sees the combat, yes, he knows that the guy who's like, um, what do you call it, in charge of the uh, shark layer, Mr. Milton Crest, is yes. behind. Yes, have you not, have we, are we still on this one example? Yes, and he, he says, get on he says, I'm, I've been detained by Regent's Park Zoo to find a Carcaridon Carcarius. <laughs> and uh, to which, uh, to which uh, Milton Crest is like, a what? He's like, a great white shark. <laughs> That's very okay, good. Okay, very good, very, very good line. Good, okay, very good. so okay. we're we're, we're you're, okay. you're sold on the voice. And okay. yeah, eyes, voice, you got me. Is okay. there a third? There is. Okay. Movement. 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 What do you okay. mean? Well, I can't really mimic him because you know. Well, does uh, he do like flying kicks? No. Does he no. do any shoto? No, 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 no. Any bai side dive? No, 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 any no. Any techie no. showdown? Techie showdown. A lot of techie showdown. Okay, fine, okay. <clears throat> but like a bit of techie showdown. Okay. So I'll give you a couple of key examples. Yeah. Lice, uh, living daylights first. Okay. Yeah. For example, all right. When Saunders comes to his untimely death, because Nikros the assassin programs this like, uh, what do you call it? This um, what do you call it? Um, revolve not a glass door. Yes. To kind of like kind of uh, what do you call it? Perforate him. Fine. Right. Dalton is like incensed, and the eyes come out again, like, and he sees the balloon saying "smeared spionum, death to spies." By the way, right. And he then snaps the balloon, right? That's Boom. good movement. And then he sees from afar the silhouette of a balloon. And he thinks that, okay, the assassin's there. The way he gets up, runs, cocks his gun, jumps over the railing, and then points it, by the way, at like, 
you know, some unsuspecting innocent bystanders because they're just carrying balloons. It's not that, okay, and puts it back in. Number one. Number two. In the ensuing scene, when he you know what, this would be good. Yes. But our editing capabilities aren't haven't progressed that far where I can use video. So these are going to only be ah, still images. But no, but they're but still hey. images. Okay. Imagination. Okay, but imagination, people. When 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 he when he when he ass- use it when he assaults Pushkin. Pushkin. Okay. Pushkin. Yes. Okay, who are played by um, John Reese Davis of um, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade right. fame. Okay. Okay. When 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 he um, when he assaults him in his hotel room. Right. Right. And then he he essentially makes sure that um, what do you call it? Pushkin's mistress or yeah. wife yeah. is standing there naked. Yes. Right. And he basically tears off her to like thing. kind of distract him distract him right and he says get in the bathroom and knock the door very very intense and that that's a, an amalgamation of the eyes the voice and the movement, and the movement. Okay. i would also like to point out in license to kill yes which is by the way and i want to say something about living daylights living daylights was basically like the halfway house film between roger moore's very very well done bond mimicry yes right and in my opinion, yes. Timothy Dalton's Sistine Chapel, right, which is licensed to kill. Living Daylights is the halfway house. It's ascending to what would be his second and final film, unfortunately. Essentially, like the greatest showcase for all of Dalton's skill, all of Dalton's intensity, his power, his violence, his acting, all of that, right? It, it's, it's, it's a halfway house. In License to Kill, they just let him explode. In my opinion, the greatest revenge story since... Revenge, the movie. <laughs> Actually, it came out the year before, but good shout. Thank you. But I think for anybody who likes revenge stories, like Man on Fire, for example, right? A, gr- a great revenge story yes. for modern-day audiences. Yes. License to Kill is one of the greatest revenge stories yes. of all time. I think it of is the greatest. Time. And by the way, I would just like to make another... I would like to also quote him again. When he walks into the casino, you know, with what I know you consider to be Wait, a very, very me. Yes, yes. His the hair. fucking ridiculous hair. Go on. What is that? It's like a giant, like hedgehog sitting on top of his head. Okay, so can I just, can I just, can I just tell you why that proves he's the best Bond? By the way, what, what's the dye there? What, what, what are we going with? And if you say fucking <laughs> soot, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch. Someone. I'm gonna say the soot, bro. No, come he's on. He's got black hair. He's got jet black hair. It's like the olive paste, jet black. Okay, all right. Okay. okay gun you know metal what? soot. Okay, okay, fine, fine. He was rocking the organic carrot. No, he, he was wasn't. Gin- he was gingerbread man. Right. All right, anyway. All right, anyways, he walks into the casino, okay, with that very. By the way, very I, I saw a video with Steve Gutenberg recently, and he does grab great organic he's got carrots. <laughs> Amazing. But a very, very good preacher of like wisdom and Absolutely. like and like g- being content with what you've got in life. By the way, so, yes. My shout for the next Bond. Gutenberg. Gutenberg. Me, I agree with you. I agree. Okay, but can I just finish? And so, you can have a whole police academy backstory intertwined. Oh Fleming. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, the, he he's gotten, he's been Sorry, elevated. Abu Jamie says, "Get back on track." Okay, okay, on okay. Track. all right. Listen, listen. What I'm trying to say is, is that in um, in license skill in the casino scene, yeah. where you think he's sporting the most like unflattering of hairstyles. Yeah. I agree with you, by the way, and also not a very, very good fitting tuxedo. Okay, he's been criticized for his style. So imagine, imagine like the strawberry jam line. Imagine you're telling Dalton, "All right, I'm going to give you the most unflattering haircut for Bond. Bond, mm-hmm. who's actually known for having good hair, cool mm-hmm. haircut, blah blah mm-hmm. blah, and an unflattering tuxedo. Mm-hmm. Bond, who's known for what, rocking the tuxedo. The best I'm gonna tuxedo. Give, I'm going to give you the worst haircut. Most worst expensive special. I'm going to give you the worst tu- tuxedo and the worst haircut. Now you're going to have to go into the casino and own it, right? And he does it. Is own the it. best casino ownership scene of all time. And if I'd like to make the point, can I just r- no bad, no bad. Listen, I'm I'm very impressed. All right, by I'm, I'm, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. Okay. Yes. When he basically, um, when he's sitting there, I mean, the way he puts down his his the chips, the way he's handling yes. the ten thousand pound yes. markers, right? And then when he says, when when uh, Telisa Soto. The beautiful Latin mistress of Sanchez comes, and he and she surprises him because he's winning lot. You know, he's winning hand after hand, right? He's rubbing the casino dry, and then he sees her from the sort of the the, the, the neckline up, and he does the very very intense icy. <laughs> and then he realizes, like, okay, I've got to have I mean, words with her. And then he says, he turns around to Carrie Lowell, who plays uh, Pam Bouvier. He's like, Miss Kennedy, will you get me a medium dry vodka martini? And she says, but I don't shake. <laughs> Not stirred, and then and then and then she and then they have this interplay with Talisa Soto, and he says, he's like, you're very professional. Am I going to win or lose? And she says, lose, but not much. And then afterwards, he comes, take me to him. 
Then, <laughs> then he's sitting in Sanchez's office, the bad guy's office, surrounded by all his goons because he's flying undercover, right? He doesn't realize, like, you know, Sanchez doesn't realize that he's out to avenge Felix's, like, shark maiming. And he's like, and he says, you're a very well-traveled man. story time, Albert Jamie. Okay, <laughs> very well-traveled man. He says, he's like, and he says, I help people with problems. And then Sanchez says, problem solver. More of a problem eliminator. <laughs> Start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Intensity, piercing eyes, powerful voice, um, great mover, and carrying off a shit haircut. Exactly. And making it work. I, 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 and terrible. Me, that's and, the most And terrible thing. lines like strawberry jam, turning somebody into strawberry jam. And right? he makes it work. And he and makes he it make, convincing. And he makes it work. Now I would like. I I would actually challenge anybody to pick another Bond. Okay, who would have been able to do that? Except for you. No. Oh, oh Chris Tarrant. No. What too? Steve Gutenberg. Contrary to what many believe, mm -hmm. I'd say Brosnan ten times better than all of them. And I'll tell you for why. The thing is with Brosnan, he is the epitome. He has all the characteristics, the things that Connery is good at, the things that Moore is good at, Lazenby, Dalton, okay? And he, he's, it, he encompasses all of them. Craig? The one. Yeah. Craig comes after, but even Craig. He's, Tarrant? I mean, let's not even talk about Craig. Yeah. But no, and even Tarrant. He is the best. <laughs> the problem with oh my Brosnan, God. or our boy Brozo, as we like to yeah. call him, is that the films he in are crap. All those films, including Golden Eye, which I know some people love, yeah. crap, 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 crap. How many were there? Four. Four, Four craps. Yeah. But he himself was a great Bond. And in fact, I, don't, I think he should come back and play an older Bond. You think so? Yeah. As what? He should be like M or... No, just like... I mean, he's still got it, right? Have you seen his like pirate goatee and tash? Very good. It's pretty good, yeah. But I think he's playing these kind of, uh, what do you call it, variation Bond roles now. In these low-budget films, oh, is that right? Kind of oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah. Right? Fair enough, fair enough, right? fair enough, fair enough. I would also like to. I would should all, lean in more, lean I, into it more. I, I would also like a, 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 gr a shout out to the integrity of Dalton as a man. Sure, because Go it's ahead. important. Go ahead. Because Bond is a man of honor. Yes, right? he's true. a man of honor, right? Yeah. So think about this. In 1968, right after Connery vacates the role of Bond after You Only Live Twice, right, yeah. and in search of a new Bond. He was actually being... In what year? 67, 68. So he wow. was basically 22, something like that. So they wanted him as Bond at 22. Which, which was probably too young, right? What had he done before? Just like... Sh 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 theater. Sh 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 okay. Theater. And he actually said, he's like, I felt I was too young for the part. It should be somebody who's 35 to 40. And it would not have been right. No, it's not the audience. It sorry, the audience. Just, sorry, I'm sorry. It's like <laughs> it would not have been right, right? Imagine at that age, turning down essentially what was the biggest franchise yeah. in the world. And that like is, that really the speaks biggest to... Break, the biggest opportunity you yeah. could ever have. Who would have thought that that would come back, to, okay? Would, would, Great would come back integrity. <coughs> integrity. Backbone. And, and Nobility. During, and during that period... Dignity. Dignity, yeah. Grace, pride, sloth, wrath, pride, lust. Well, no, those are the okay, seven. Okay, okay, seven okay, 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 But I would just like to say, I would just like to say, I would just like to say, during that period, when he was essentially like continuing on in his very, very respected, but perhaps low profile acting career mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he was doing things in, oh thank you very much thank you costume costume um yes, things Turn like um, um, uh, um as he said Don't and I'm, I'd li li like to paraphrase i was doing um, good work in the theater things like um, the lion in winter mary queen of scots and um withering heights <laughs> anyways I mean, listen dalton may be the greatest human that's ever lived. I, you, Timothy, if you're <laughs> listening, I worship you. I've worshipped you since I was eight years old, going nine times to the now obsolete Odie in Kensington. I watched Living Daylights in the cinema nine times. Can you imagine that? Wow. And, and, wow. and I would like to also make you this point. You should see a therapist, bro. Nine times? Yeah. <laughs> yeah definitely. I've seen nine therapists for definitely. that. Definitely. And, and I would also like to point out that when <laughs> License to Kill came out, it was the first 15 certificate Bond film. How right? old were you? I was... 10 but Breaking I was in low. but I was in Disney World with my parents and over there it was PG-13 and you're allowed to watch films that are PG-13 actually we're allowed to watch this is films. a great anecdote anyway Anyways, well done. I would just you like to say that do Dalton is the greatest Bond ever okay and I think I've given very very greatest unique... actor ever greatest man ever yeah greatest Welshman ever and let me just let me just sign off another one of Dalton's uh, okay. great lines before you from, do from, before you from, do from, from, before you do yes. please like please comment 
please subscribe, please. Okay. Please. Okay. Okay. And if you have any comments on how we can improve, if you just want to hurl abuse at us, please do so. From, Continue. From, from 2007 film classic Hot Fuzz. My, my, here come the fuzz. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs>